Joining me now is Julia Manchester, political reporter for The Hill. Julia, thanks for coming on the show. You were at the Fetterman rally in Pittsburgh last night. So did he seem like a, a different guy than he was on Tuesday's debate stage? Well, he certainly seemed more comfortable, Dan, and I think that's for a number of reasons. It wasn't a high, as high of a pressure situation as the debate was. He was very much in Fetterman country. We know that he's from Braddock, Pennsylvania, not far from Pittsburgh, and this was a John Fetterman rally. So you had hundreds of John Fetterman supporters there cheering him on. It was more of a relaxing type of situation, Dave Matthews concert. So I would say the only high pressure point of it was that he had to, in his first public appearance since the debate, really addressed the debate and his performance. And he did that right off the gate, saying that it wasn't necessarily the most um, easy p position he's been put in and that, um, you know, he got through it. However, he knew it was going to be difficult. But one part of the rally that struck me, and this is a line he has been using at his rally since he has suffered the stroke, is he asks members of the crowd to raise their hand and say, have you suffered from a major health uh, condition or health problem? And he says, have your parents, have your your grandparents, have your children suffered from that? And that's a way for him to kind of make this more relatable, make him a relatable candidate. Now, there obviously are questions about how this could impact his ability to serve as a United States senator, but that's what the Fetterman campaign is really trying to do now, make John Fetterman as relatable as possible after what they knew going into it was going to be a tough debate night. Uh, but are a lot of people seeing this appearance, meaning so many people saw the debate, and you have to wonder, are that many people seeing his rallies now? You know, it's a good question. Not as many people are seeing the rallies. Of course, us and national, state, and local media are covering that, so the clips are available. However, I think those of us in the media are very much attracted to the debate part. They're very much media-centric um, uh, events, if you will. Um, we are going to be picking apart and analyzing every part of that debate, but I guess the question I have going forward is, even though more people may have watched the debate versus some of these post-debate rallies, Rallies, you know, how much does Fetterman's appearance really impact their vote? We know that so many people have yeah. already voted in Pennsylvania since early voting has happened. And we know that, you know, if we talk about inflation, border, crime, economy, these other issues are more important to them. So if you're already a left leaning voter and you're concerned about, you know, some of those issues right. and you like Fetterman's platform, you're probably yeah. going to vote right. for Fetterman regardless. And I would think that those were the people who were at the rally last night, but the people who are probably going to determine mm -hmm. this election are the. The, uh, the centrists, the people who've been moving the polls more towards Oz over time. We shall see Julia Manchester. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.